This one is going to have a weight conversion in it. So let's read it together. The pediatric clinic nurse is reviewing the medication for a two-year-old client presenting with acute otitis media. The nurse has an order to administer amoxicillin 90 milligrams per kilogram per day divided into two doses. The client weighs 24 pounds. How many milliliters per dose should the nurse administer? And we're going to record using one, oops, one decimal place and what we're trying to solve for right there we see is our milliliters that we're trying to give. So... Um, we can ask ourselves here, you know, what do we have? We are holding this powdered suspension in our hands, this amoxicillin, um, and we see that there's 400 milligrams per 5 mLs on this label. And then we have some knowns we, that we are given. So we know that our ordered dose is this 90 milligrams per kilogram per day, and we know that we're giving it in two doses. And then our dosing weight is 24 pounds. And of course, we're going to have to convert that to um, kilograms. Okay. So next, let's talk about what we need. And remember, we find that to the right of the answer um, blank there. And that's going to be how many milliliters we're going to give per dose. So now that we know that, we can start with our given weight and we can do this conversion. So conversions always used to have through me, I had to really think about it. But when I set it up with dimensional analysis, it just helps because you can see everything cross off. So I'm going to start with my given weight um, and we're going to try to, and we're going to eventually get to how many milliliters we're going to give per dose, right? So we're going to write our 24 pounds and what's our conversion here? We're going to put that over one, but we're going to think about what the conversion is for when we add that for our next step and do the conversion. So how many pounds are equal to how many kilograms? What we're trying to find is our milliliters per dose. So now we'll set up the middle and do that conversion. So we're going to put one kilogram on top over 2.2 pounds. So this way our pounds will cancel off, right? So we know that there's 2.2 pounds in per kilogram. So next we can, um, we're going to go to our next step here where we can pick another, any of the other items to plug in and we will, great. Now I see you guys, I know the chat's a little delayed. So I see all y'all with your 2.2. Perfect. So we will put in our um, 90 milligrams per kilogram per day. So we need our kilograms to cancel. So we'll put 90 milligrams on top per kilogram per day. So this is going to allow me to cancel off my kilograms and if I was to solve now, I would just be left with milligrams per day and we're trying to get to milliliters per dose. So we still have more things to plug in. So I'll take this next one, two doses per day. And where will I put my days on the top or the bottom? If we're trying to get them to cancel right now, we have days on the bottom here. So we'll put them on the top here, right? So one day, two doses. And we see that our days will cancel. And here we'd be left with milligrams per dose. And so we have one more to plug in here so that we can get to our milliliters per dose. Okay, so 400 milligrams, where are we gonna put that? On the top or the bottom? Put it on the bottom, right? Because this will cancel. So our five mLs. So just checking to make sure all our units cancel here and they do and we'd be left with milliliters per dose. So now that we've set up our middle, we are going to get to our next step, and that is going to be to multiply. So when we multiply across here, this is going to be bigger math for us. <laughs> 24 times 1 times 90 times 1 times 5. So we get 10,800 there. And then we'll multiply across the bottom as well. So 1 times 2.2 times 1 times 2 times 400. So we should get 1760 or 1760. So now we can do our division. So when you divide this 10,800 by 1760, what do we get? We get 6.1363. Um, and of course, we need to round, right? And it said that we were going to round to one decimal place. So when you do that, how do we do that? We're going to look to the right of the decimal. And if it's five or above, when we look over here, we would round up. But it is a three. So it's less than five. So we get to drop all this. So we're going to give 6.1 mLs. 
So does everybody agree with that? We get our 6.1. You can plug the numbers in. We know we got to make sure that this makes sense. You can look back at your ordered concentration and see that that label, that it made sense with that. And so we see that 6.1 is correct.